Hello friends, thank you for watching this video. I am Muhammad, and today we're gonna be discussing how we can actually add SQLite to our minimum API. We're gonna be creating a service which can allow us to communicate with the database, and we're gonna be building on top of the project that we have worked on last time. I will be linking it here somewhere so you'll be able to watch that video from the beginning if you wanna follow along. So let's get started. So first of all, what we want to do is we want to create a new service. So I'm going to go all the way to the end of the page. Again, this is the project that we have started in our last video or the video before that, which is going to be linked here somewhere. So first thing is I'm going to create a class. I'm going to call it user service. And within this user service, I'm going to be basically creating all of the CRUD operation, which is needed in order for me to interact with a data repository of some sort. The first one is going to be public, I enumerable user, and it's going to be get all. And from here, what we want to do actually before we do this, let's keep this as empty right now. I want to actually change the initialization of this so instead of having the data repository of these users here i'm going to add them to that service itself and then we can update it later in order for it to be part of the service that we're going to be utilizing so here inside my user service i'm just going to add this like this and instead of having it as a var i'm going to put private read only list of users and i'm going to call it users perfect let's make this as a capital u great so now here inside my get all all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to say equal users dot to list. And this is going to be my get all functionality. So now that we have done the get all, now what I want to do is get by ID. So it's going to be public user get by ID. And this is going to be equal to users dot first or default ID equal equal ID, which I'm going to be adding it right now. And here I'm going to say int ID. Okay, perfect. So now that we have this in place, let's make this as nullable because it might actually be null if we don't find the ID. Then we want to do is we want to add a user. We're going to say public void add user. It's going to take a user and it's going to be users dot add and we're going to be adding the user put here user and let's put here user okay perfect so now let's do the delete we're going to put public void delete user we're going to give it the id int id we're going to put users dot remove and we're going to put users dot first or default x x dot id equal equal id and this will allow us to actually have let's put this on the new line this will allow us to actually find the element and then remove it and lastly we want to update it so we're going to put public void update user. We're going to take a user, user for update. Well, then we're going to put current user. So var current user equal users dot first or default x dot id equal equal id user for update dot id. And then we're going to say if current user not equal to null, then we're going to put current user dot first name equal equal user for update dot first name. And without the double equal, single equal, I'm going to put current user dot last name equal user for update dot last name okay great so now that we have basically all of our CRUD operations available here what we want to do is we want to inject the service inside our current program so i'm going to come here and uh, after before the builder dot build before directly after the builder has been initiated i'm going to put builder dot services dot add transient and i'm going to add the user service that i've just had so now that i have added this so now my service is available through dependency injection and have injected it into my application what i want to do here is i want to actually make all of these different endpoints utilize my service so what I want to do here is inside my handler, I put user service, call it users. And then here I can say users dot get all. And basically now I can have all of my users back. Let me just copy this. And again, with the handler here, instead of having users first or default, I'm just going to change this to get by ID. So users dot get by ID. And then here we're going to provide the ID. Perfect. So now here again for the user service, we're going to add it here. And instead of users.add, we're going to say users.add user. And for the delete one, similar pattern. So here we can see that we have different items. So I don't really need this because that's already happening there. And I'm not returning anything here. Well, actually, let's return here a true or false. So I'm going to change this to Boolean and We'll change it into something like this. Let's remove this one. So now that I have done this, all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna separate this. I'm gonna put var user for deletion equal perfect. And here I'm just gonna say user for deletion not equal to null. I'm gonna remove this user and then return true and then return true else we return false. Perfect. So now that I have, I still have only two to fix. So let's fix the put one. So here I'm just gonna take the same logic for the user service. I'm just gonna inject it here again. And now here I'm just gonna say again similar to this users get by id perfect and actually we don't really need all of this i'm just gonna say update so i can say users update user and here we're requiring the user and also what i can do is it called oh yeah it's called update user not user what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna take the same as we have done before so actually 
So I'm jumping around. So let's fix this. So here what I'm going to say is I'm going to say result. I'm going to say if result is equal true, I'm going to return uh, content not found. Sorry, no content else. I'm going to return bad request results dot bad request. I'm going to say user not found. Okay, great. So now that I have fixed this, so here what I would like to do is I would like to also get the user first before I'm outdated. So I'm going to put var current user exist, current user exist equal and then here all i'm gonna say is users dot cut by id i'm gonna pass the id and then i'm gonna say if current user exists not equal to null then we delete this and we return okay else we return results dot bad request uh, we say user not perfect and now basically i have updated my entire services in order for me to have it within a service and this is going to be the main thing for me here just to streamline my utilization so i'm going to run my application right now and see how it runs so let's debug this and now i'm going to open postman and within postman here and within postman i'm going to try to do all the get one first so get all users send request we can see i'm getting my three users which has already been automatically there if i get get user by id so if i put one here we should be able to to see it okay perfect so now that i know my api is running let us see how we can convert this to a service right now to a to utilize sqlite right now so going back to rider i'm gonna stop this i'm gonna open my terminal and i'm gonna basically here and basically here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna be adding some new packages so i'm gonna put dot not new package it's gonna be microsoft dot entity framework core dot sqlite maybe i misspelled something let's clear it up not a new package it's add package apologies i'm still feeling a bit under the water okay perfect so now it's being installed successfully so now the second thing that i want to add let's clear this up which is also going to be almost similar but instead of sqlite it's going to be design okay perfect now these two has been installed i'm just going to open my cs proj to make sure they have installed successfully so i did edit cs proj and i can see that my entity framework design and sqlite has been installed successfully perfect. so i'm just going to close this right now and what i want to do is i'm going to go to my app settings and i'm going to add a new section for my connection strings i'm going to call it connection strings and i'm going to call it default connection and from here i'm going to call it data so source equal data app to deep. So now that we have specified our connection string, let's go back to our program.cs and let us now tell our application that we're going to be actually utilizing um, SQLite. So in order for us to do that, we're going to be needing a DB context. So inside my program.cs, I'm going to be adding a new DB context and before that's user services. So I'm going to create a class called API DB context, which is going to inherit from the DB context class. And then here I'm going to create an entities and this is going to be representing my user. It's going to be public virtual db set user users get an asset okay why is this not happy okay so that's my table inside my database and now i need to create my constructor and i'm going to provide with the db context option db context options for api db context call it options and we'll pass it to the base class so now that i have this in place i have my api db context i have my db context everything is available for me now what i want to do here is after my builder i want to get my connection string so i'm going to put var connection equal builder configuration dot get connection strings and i'm going to provide it my connection string name i think i called it default connection so default connection perfect and then here i want to inject it normally so builder dot services dot add db context gonna be called the api db context and here i need to specify the options so we'll put options options dot use sql light and then we need to specify the connection string and we can close it now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open my terminal i'm gonna clear this up and do that not build to make sure everything is building okay perfect build succeeded so now what i want to do is i'm gonna create a migration script in order for me to start creating my database we need to add a migration so we're gonna say dot not yeah migrations add we're gonna say initial dash migration okay perfect now the migration has been created now i'm going to say is dot not er database update and now we should be able to see here on the left hand side a new database file being created for us and now we can see we have the data app.db which is my database and basically if i open it up i'm gonna test the connection click apply click ok and then here on the left hand side right hand side if i open my main tables i'm able to see my users if i open this up i can see id first name and last okay, perfect so now that my database exists and that's all up and running and my application recognize it now what i want to do is i want to update my service in order for it to benefit from the db context rather than relying on this in memory database and once i do that i will be able to directly wire everything up that i need to so inside my user service i'm just gonna put private read only api db context 
I'm gonna call it underscore db contacts, and then I'm gonna initialize it through the constructor. So here we can say initialize from constructor. I'm gonna remove the list of users because we don't really need them anymore. And here basically right now I have my db contacts initialized through the instructor constructor. So here I want to update this to rely on the db context. So here we're gonna say underscore db contacts dot users dot to list. I'm just gonna copy this with the dot and add it. Uh, and this is how easy it is once we do all of the manual work before. And now basically everything is wired up to my database. And now if I do a simply a dot not build, it should be everything is building succeeded. So now if I run this, perfect. Now if I go back to my postman, if I remove this, now we should be seeing an empty list because we don't have anything in the database. Perfect. Now let's see if we try to do a post. So here what I want to do is I'm gonna instead of having a put I'm gonna change this to a post and move this and I'm gonna put ID number one Batman Gotham send we got it back if I do now get all users we got a 201 created but I'm not able to see it here so let's see what's wrong with it so for this it's a good idea to do a breaking point so I'm gonna put this here put the breaking point on get all users and let's run this and basically we can see it's actually hitting this endpoint correctly I'm gonna put here the console view, see if there's anything not right. And results.okay, users.getAll, okay, perfect. So now if we have what happens, okay, that's fine. So let us do one thing here. I'm gonna first go to my database and get to view data, edit data, see if there's anything here. So the post did not work, so let's see that. Where is the post? So here, add a new user. Let's go to the declaration, add users. Okay, that's the problem. I did not do save changes. So what we need to do here is I'm gonna put, wanna update the user functionality so go to the definition let's stop this and this is we're gonna change it to a normal function and i'm gonna update this and then once that's done we're gonna put db context to save changes and this is gonna be the main item here so i'm gonna just copy this i'm gonna update it also similarly for the delete user so again db context to save changes and for the update users as well so now let's run this and let's go back to postman let's do another post we got this now if i do get get all and let me remove the breaking point run and we can see i got batman back so now if i come here and i change put id to robin gotham send you can see you got Robin and if I go to send perfect now let me try to do get user by ID so if I put here forward slash one I should only get Batman now perfect if I change this to delete and let's do delete we got no content if I change back to get and get all of them we should be only seeing one user now okay perfect and lastly let's do the put so I put a put here and I'm gonna put Robin one and let's do send we got four or five not allowed why oh I forgot to add here the id which is needs to be two okay we got the 200 and now if i do get we should be able to see that there is a number next to robin perfect so what we have done in this video is we were able to convert from an in-memory database into a fully utilizable sql service we have added a database service which rely on sql light we have utilized dependency injection in order for us to wire everything up and we were able to see how easy it is to migrate from an in-memory database to utilizing fully function SQLite database. Again, I apologize for my voice. Uh, I'm not feeling 100%. I hope you liked this video. Please like, share, and subscribe if you did. If you'd like to support me, please consider supporting me on Patreon or buying me a coffee. With that said, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.